Okay, greetings once again. We are going to see how to use Microsoft PowerPoint to come up with uh, an infographic, especially an option infographic where we are going to include our funding partners on this infographic. I want us to design one in Microsoft PowerPoint so that you can also come up with any other infographic to present in our live session. So let's create uh, a presentation program where we shall design our infographic from. So I create a Microsoft PowerPoint presentation. I'm calling it infographic as the name. Then I open. So from here, I click to create a blank presentation. So here I can first remove these ones. So we are going to create a blank slide. So I go to home, then under layout, I make it blank. Uh, so from here, I can insert an, an auto shape. So let me insert a shape like a rectangle that is covering the entire slide. I can give it a background color. Uh, say that kind of background color then from there uh, we can have an oval shape here it's better you hold down shift and draw a clear circle something like that so this kind of circle we can also change under fill color we can give it say um, okay you can have this kind of color you can even go ahead and choose uh, more fill colors from here you adjust them or you come here you make it more dark and you click ok uh, yes so at this point uh, I want us to go to view and put on the ruler we also put on the grids and the guides so that as we design, we follow these grids and guides. So still on this circle of ours, we can go to shape format and add more outline. So we go to weight, we pick more lines. So we can add, uh, say, compound type. We choose to have a thick line and we increase the width here. You can see what is happening on our oval shape as we increase width. Yes, something like that. So I can put it around there. And then I can change shape outline maybe to green. Then we, we right click and edit text. And then we have our funding partners. So we can have it there at Kilimo Trust. At Kilimo Trust. Yes, yeah, so you can choose to change the font size. I choose that. The font color. Make it white. Yes, can have a shadow. Here you can choose to make it tight or make it loose, something like that. Okay, then from there, I want us to have an arc. So under shapes, we can bring this arc and we draw it somewhere here. And then we play around with it and adjust it. Say something like that. Something like that. You bring it near here. So we can put it around here. And then uh, we can also increase its font, its uh, weight, maybe to around 2.4. Uh, we can also make it green. And then we can have one arrow connecting from here to around there. 
you can also make it green so let it touch the yeah something like that we can have another one also from here touching there let it be green So we can choose to also increase its weight. So let's make it uh, say one and a half. This one also one and a half. So at this point, let's put other oval shapes. So hold down shift, you draw an oval here. this uh, we can give it say orange color we can have another over here those are two three four five and six yes we shall have our six patterns represented by different colors so we can have this red we shall have another one uh, let's say yellow we have another one represented by say purple we can have another one represented by blue another one can be represented by say green yeah so we shall have our rounded rectangle you can draw one rounded rectangle around here we can use this to bring it inwards so that it is a, a clear rounded rectangle you can put it around here so we said we are designing an an option infographic so this we shall maintain the other color orange for this and then inside we need to draw an oval like this so put it around here you can give it white okay uh, so around here maybe i can pick uh, yes say that so right click edit text let's put figure one you can highlight it and bold it yes that's our number one so we can highlight this and uh, we can select we group it so right click can group so that you can click you can hold down control you generate another one similar to it generate another one generate another one generate another one generate another one then we shall fix them in different positions so this this is number two uh, here we shall have number three, number four, then we have number five, and then six. So this, uh, let's first ungroup it for now, so that we select only this, we give it color green. And group this right click and choose and group select on the rounded rectangle color blue select this and group for now and then select the bigger one fill color uh, this is purple then this also and group select the bigger rectangle and give it yellow then this ungroup and give it a red color 
so this we give it red color and now you need to group them again uh, so we can group this select hold control and select hold control select group hold control select group hold control select group so that it is one object moving so we can push this around here we can push this around here and this can be also around here this up above slightly here slightly here this can be slightly here and this can be here as well so we can slightly move this a bit here yes this here this a little bit here a little bit here and this there so we can have lines joining them so we can have a line from here to here we can have any other line connecting from here to here feel free to hold down shift so that your line is very straight so we can have another line here let's have another line connecting from here to there another line here to here so this line we can make it blue uh, green this can be blue this can be this yellow this red this orange so we can highlight our lines and we increase the thickness so highlight then we come to shape outline weight you can say 2.4 and then mode this we are going to put our first pattern in this first shape so here uh, we can insert picture from this device i go to my desktop where i have my Krimo trust folder patterners the first is gears so i can reduce this smaller and i put it around here i can come here and as say i put it to this yes something like this uh, we can have another pattern with uh, another pattern is uh, i i f a d insert picture i f a d is here so this we can also reduce it we bring it here let's have another pattern now uh, this is uh, igra igra is here also reduce it on the corners we put igra here then another we have i k e a so we can insert i k e a reduce it and bring i k e here 
another partner we have federal ministry so we can insert federal ministry so federal ministry is here so we can also use uh, this option one of these options here so that it is not too big Okay, let's use that. We'll put that. We can put one more partner. And uh, that's that. We can have this one. And we fill this here. We can change the picture. Maybe this. Yeah. So we put this pattern here. And now after creating your infographic and you feel that it is the right infographic, you have completed the design, you can now select all. Under home, you can come to select, you say all. Or on the keyboard, you can press Ctrl A and then you right click and group the whole of it so that it is one object so this is one object i can now uh, right click and save picture as i can put it here on the desktop and i call it infographic i save so when i go to my desktop my infographic is here so it is well designed so meaning that you can go back to your presentation and add more information within this so uh, first of all you select all and then you ungroup and then you first put independent information for example here you go to insert and then shapes you can bring a text box you draw here and put some information about keys. Mm. Then you draw a text box here, put information about keys, text box here, put information about keys, text box here, put information about keys, text box here, put information about keys. I mean about that founder or partner, same there about that founder or pattern, and any other information you need to include there. So Take time and design appealing infographics in any design and come to the session when you have something to present. More to that, uh, if I can open a new slide here, uh, PowerPoint has more layout. So when I go to insert and I choose smart art, you will find a number of uh, smart art graphics that you can use as infographics for example if i scroll through and i choose this vertical chevron and i click ok it will be inserted like this so you can come to change colors and choose the design you would like to take for example i choose that that's how it will appear i choose that that's how it will appear so i pick that and if i'm looking at say uh partner one I'm looking at partner 2 or partner 3 and under pattern 1 who are there so you talk about them you write all the funders say here we are looking at keys and uh, maybe under category 1 we also have uh, IFAD and then here we have Agra then we have any other funder, say IKEA. Then we have more funders like uh, Federal Ministry. Uh, then we also have more funders, say like Banqui. Yes, 
So if you need more, if you need to add more on this list, so when you click here, you can add more. I can click here and press enter. I will be able to add another funder here. So that is it. Now with this infographic, you can as well highlight it. You group it. So you go to, you right click and then you make it one. Then you can now save it as a picture. Save it as a picture on the desktop. So you find that you have another infographic here. So that's how you'll be making a number of infographics. So take a chance, you go to insert, smart art, and look at a number of these smart art. There are those for processes. So utilize them to indicate processes. For example, you can see these are arrows, those are settings, circle, hierarchy, for example, you want to draw uh, an organizational chart, so you can see where to begin from and have an infographic design using smart art. Alternatively, design from scratch and have an appealing infographic. So thank you. Please take time and design appealing infographics.